after the long and ceremonial evening, Hrothgar and Beowulf leave Heorot Hall for a night's rest. To avenge her son's death, Grendel's mother attacks stealthily, killing Ashera, one of Hrothgar's closest advisors. Beowulf is summoned and grandly proclaims the heroic code. Unferth gives Beowulf his sword, and Beowulf leaves to hunt down Grendel's mother. He dives into the poisonous bog, and Grendel's mother pulls him into a great hall beneath the swamp. They battle. Beowulf swings his sword, but it has no effect. Seeing a sword meant for a giant, he tears it from the wall and beheads Grendel's mother. Danes and Gaiad men watch from above and see blood boil violently in the bog. Assuming that Beowulf has met his match, the Danes leave, but the Gaiats await some sign of their hero. Beowulf sees Grendel's body laying below and takes his head as a trophy. The blade of the sword melts away as it touches Grendel's poisonous blood. Beowulf returns to Heorot Hall with the hilt of the sword and Grendel's head as trophies. Again, Hrothgar showers Beowulf in gifts and declares Beowulf's worthiness to be king in his own land, contrasting him with the evil Danish king, Haramode. Another feast ensues, and Beowulf and his men set sail for home. By cultural norms, Grendel's mother had every right to seek revenge. Feuds were common and expected when someone was killed, many of which lasted for generations. Women were included in the feuds, although they were not the ones taking retribution. Because Grendel didn't play by the rules, we can assume Hrothgar and Beowulf didn't consider it fair for Grendel's mother to take revenge. In addition, Grendel and his mother were descendants of Cain, so they weren't given the same regard as other citizens. The bubbling bog is symbolic of hell. The magical sword was meant to be used to destroy evil, hence why the blade melts after defeating Grendel's mother. Hrothgar's fatherly advice to remain humble and good, even after accomplishing such tasks, reveals that he feels greatly indebted to Beowulf and doesn't want him to suffer the fate that many kings and heroes do. There are many biblical parables and references in the speech, confirming that Christianity had made its way to the Danes and Gaiats. <laughs>